Hey guys, I know it's been a really long time since I've done a video. I've had a few big projects from some clients and I've been busy building this. So hopefully this gives me a little more space to work on some projects. I'm really excited about the one today. In this video, I will be demonstrating a new microcontroller. This little guy here is Seed Studios Shao BLE or Bluetooth Low Energy Device. And just as a little spoiler alert, this may be my new favorite microcontroller. Now, just a little disclaimer, Seed Studio did send me this microcontroller and asked me to do a review on it. But other than that, I have received no compensation for this video. In this video, I will show you how to control this microcontroller using your smartphone. For this project, I will be posting the source code for the Arduino as well as for the Android app for free in the description below. And if you like this video, stick around for the next one where I'll show you how to use this microcontroller and your smartphone to control the actual position of a linear actuator. For previous Bluetooth projects, I have been using the Bluno Nano, which is basically a miniature Arduino Uno with built-in Bluetooth capability. The Xiao BLE, however, as you can see, has a much faster CPU and much more memory. And while it doesn't have as many pins, it still has quite a few and they are much more versatile. This board is quite a bit smaller than the Bluno Nano as well and can be soldered directly to a PCB. So I am very excited to be testing this board out. The only downside that I have noticed is it does seem to take a lot longer to compile in the Arduino environment. This little board has a built-in red, green, blue LED light. And in this video, I will show you how to create an app for your smartphone to control it. Well, here is the Arduino code. And before you get too far, you'll want to go to your boards manager and make sure you add the Seed NRF52 embed enabled boards. You get the BLE and the BLE Sense. For BLE projects, you'll want to include the Arduino BLE library. And with each project, you can have services and characteristics that are associated with that service. In this case, I have a BLE service named LED service, and I have a 32-bit hexadecimal identifier. You can use any number you want for this. It just has to be in this format. Uh, associated with my BLE service, I have three BLE integer characteristics, and you can do other types of characteristics as you want. Uh, but I have one for each light on the microcontroller board, the red, green, and blue lights. And you see all I've done here in my uh, unique identifier is increment the last zero to a one, two, and three. Next, I've declared three integers to represent the three pins on this microcontroller that control the red, green, and blue lights. Next, in the setup loop, we declare those three pins as outputs. And we set them all to high. For this board, high is actually off. So we're turning all three lights off to begin with. Now all this if statement does here is just waits for the BLE to initialize before proceeding with the rest of the code. In this section here, we're just setting up our BLE service and our BLE device. Uh, this line is kind of cool because we're giving it a name. And this is the name that you will see when you search for Bluetooth devices using your phone. Now in this example, nothing happens inside the void loop until our BLE device is connected with another mobile device. And once that occurs, this uh, line of the code will name that device that's connected as the central. So this command, if central, just means if we're connected to a device, execute the following code. Similarly, with this while statement, while we're connected, we're going to do these things below. And what we're going to do is we're going to listen for these red, green, and blue characteristics to change. And if we detect a change in any of those, we're going to digitally write that integer that we receive from our mobile device, um, either a one or a zero in this case, a high or a low, and we're going to write those commands 
to these digital output pins that control these red, green, and blue lights. And that is really all that we have to put in this code. Now let's jump over to the Android app and see how we can talk uh, from the phone to this device. So here we are inside MIT App Inventor. Now before you get coding, you'll want to go over to your extensions and make sure that you import this Bluetooth low energy extension. You should be able to see it down here and you'll need to have that in place before you start coding. Now if we look at our phone layout here, we just have a label here and this will just tell us whether or not we are connected to our microcontroller and three buttons that just will toggle uh, or rather send the command to the microcontroller to toggle those lights. Now if we jump over here to our block diagram, you'll see right off the bat here at the top we have um, some global variables that we're declaring and you will notice that the names and unique identifier numbers match exactly with what we put in the Arduino code. Now this next section of code will automatically search for and connect with our Arduino BLE device because we already know the name and unique identifier for that device. We're also going to initialize our buttons to the color gray and disable them until we are ready to begin. Once our mobile device connects with our microcontroller, we want to tell our mobile device what characteristics of the BLE device we care to pass back and forth between the devices. And in our case, we're interested in those three integers for the red, green, and blue light. Now down here below, we're just turning our buttons on and we are declaring that we have connected to our device. So button one here is our red button and we're starting out with the gray background color and if we click on that button, we're gonna do a couple things. First of all, we are going to write integers with response. So we are sending a number from our mobile device to our microcontroller and in that case here, we're sending a zero which will be interpreted as a low in our digital write statement in our Arduino code. Now for this device, a low is turning the light on and a high will turn it back off. So down here in our else statement, if the light is already on and we hit the button again, it will turn it back off. Likewise, we have almost exactly the same uh, code for our green and blue buttons, except we're changing the colors here. And then uh, if we hit the back button on our application, it will simply close. Now that's it for a code. Let's go test it out. Now we can test this out using our app. You see it just connected. Now we control the red light, the green light, and the blue light using our app. As always, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please stay tuned for the next one where I'll show you how to control the position of a linear actuator using your smartphone. 